Alexis finally gives my man Justin some booty. And she was as Tommy would say, Justin GTD got the draws. He got the, he got the draws. He got the draws. He got the draws, and she was not happy. But she's trying to convince him that it was the best thing since sliced bread. So we we'll keep we'll keep it there. Tilly, I start with you about the uh, sexing of just with Justin and Alexis. And D, my team is the Washington Commanders, and I think our season is over. I'm just. <laughs> Um, I feel like the more I watch Alexis and the more she talks, the more um, I pull away from her. Let me say that. Because I don't know her not to like her, but the more I disconnect from her. The more I, the more the, the I want to root for her, but it's just so many things about her that we caught early that are just like screaming loud for me. And her getting that messy award was very much so appropriate. I also feel like, like I told you guys last week, I feel like she's manipulative. She flip flop, flip flop. Hi, Tommy. Flip flop, flip flop. You know, um, when things are going great, you know, she's good. And then if it's not going great, then she tells him. And then the moment he says, I don't like it or this isn't doesn't isn't in alignment or whatever he just however he decides to say it, crying or whatever, then she'll, you know, oh baby. So I feel like her gaslighting him is what it's happening with this sex. Um, they went on and, and sealed the deal, but she did not enjoy herself is what, what the roundabout way of what, what she said is that to the ladies, not even to her, her, um, her husband. So I do get one thing she said that was true. That first time can be awkward. But that's when the you, you don't have the connection and you really are passionate because you work around it when those things happen and you really kind of, you kind of take a deep breath, you kind of work around it. But I feel like they just did it to do it. He didn't, but she did, like to get it out the way to see, well, let me see if this is the thing that's going to hold me to him. And so um, just the way she low-key like dissed him you know what I mean? Like it was a, it was a, in front of the girls, like a low key diss. Like, how do you tell your man that it wasn't good? Ma'am, what you do if you, if, if you, if there were parts of it that you like, then you share the things that you like. You, you should be having sex conversations anyway. And in the process, maybe not the first time, but the second time you start to, to, to give a little direction. Him too. Like, and then for her to be like, it didn't last long. But I thought a moment ago they had said it lasted all night. Which which one is it? It didn't last long or did it last all night, Justin? Let, let me know. Did you, I mean, you know, and lasting all night does not necessarily mean he was up all night. You know what I mean? Like, what is it that she really wants? Like, what does she, I, she needs to just stop playing these games. She just be on, I think she just on the TV to be on the TV at this particular point. I think that she's going to say no. If y'all want to know, I think that she's going to say no and he's going to say yes. Um, and he said that he hadn't been giving his all the entire eight weeks. Well, what, was, what you been doing, Justin? Like, because this is it. This is it. You want to be this woman's husband and this is it. But I also feel like she hasn't been giving her all the whole eight weeks either, where she said she was genuine and giving her all. I feel like, again, she's lying. Um, so I don't know. I just, I'm, 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 I'm more and more each week. I'm not an Alexis fan. I'm not a, actually just a, an Alexis combination fan. Maybe separately they would be okay for me, but probably Alexis would never just because of her energy and the way she talks about her husband. And like, okay, I'm going to tell you, one of my co workers used to be my work husband, used to tell me all the time when I was married. He said, um, I learned a lesson that whenever you talk about your spouse to other people, you only share share only the good things. Because when they get when they meet them, that's all they're gonna know, versus um sharing all those bad, the negative things. And not only that, that sticks with you. You share the negative things with your spouse. And so it was a little more than that. But I feel like she needs a lesson in in knowing when enough is enough, like when to just like I'm not gonna share all of these details about my sex life and that my husband isn't pleasing me so i don't know i don't know again like i said i'm 
becoming less and less less and less of a fan. So if you feel differently, please change my mind. Okay. Let me see it in a different light if you feel differently. Cause I just really sometimes get on this this little soapbox and be like, nope, I ain't gonna like you again. It's too late. It's too late. But I'm open to changing my mind. But she she talks too much. Tell it um sell he's celibate, he's celibate, he's celibate. We not having sex. Uh, what was it he said on after she said on after party about his performance? Something. She said something. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah, she said he, he wouldn't have problems kind of insist. Yes. That's what I'm getting it up. There it is. Yeah. Right? So, and then you know, well, he and then you you say that he's been celibate for a year and a half, right? And so he he doesn't have the stamina. But uh, he was excited. Like he, you're a, 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 a very voluptuous, very attractive, very shapely woman. Somebody that's probably outside of his league normally. He is going to be excited. A year and a half, ma'am. Give him a little bit of grace, right? You give him a little bit of grace. You said it yourself, but you're not giving him any grace in that area. Do it again. He might. You might be having your eyes rolling in the back of your head. Maybe you need to get you some vibrating panties. You talking about some? You don't use no vibrators. Listen, I, they were trying to help you. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm I'm done. The blood was flowing for Justin. The blood was flowing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tommy, yeah, the, blood, the blood was flowing early. Uh, Tommy, your thoughts on Justin and Alexis, man. Welcome. You came in the right conversation, my brother. We, we, we were holding off just for you. Uh, Justin and Alexis, your thoughts on Justin and Alexis and this whole sex situation. Um, can y'all hear me? Okay. Uh, so, first off, Justin did GTD. <laughs> Good for him. Good. I for said him. it. I said as Tommy would say. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, GTD. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that was a sympathy uh, smash. That Alex Alexis just was like, okay, let's just get this out the way. Um, I don't feel like she. It is just weird them talking about it. You know, it's just like how she talked about it and his representation of it were two totally different things. Like he was like, this has been the best thing since sliced bread. She was like, oh, I could have been better. You know, it was mediocre at best. Um, like Talisa was saying, it is a conversation that you can have, you know, when it when you're talking about sex, because it's like, OK, yeah, it may not been good the first time, but hey, that's a learned behavior. Like every person that you have sex with likes something different. So learn those likes. That's the thing about being married. It's like you get to explore and learn what your spouse likes. So learn that, you know, um, and talk to each other. Be open to talk to each other about it. And I, I feel like her not talking to him about it being mediocre or, you know, wanting better. I think it harms them if they were going to go past um, decision day because now it's another like I guess another knock at him you know first is her dog bit you know or his dog bit her then it's he flies kites now it's his sex is bad you know so it's it's all of these things piling up that she's not talking to him about and for him it's like Oh, this is best. We're doing great. I still feel some type of way because she said X, Y, and Z about me. But, you know, I finally, you know, we finally had sex. I don't think their relationship has changed or gotten better because of it. And, you know, some people think that's what happens. But um, I, their energy is just, you know, she was trying to say that his energy was off. But I feel like he was like, he's. His change was from when she was like, I don't want to be or I don't feel like I'm ready to be married to Justin. That was when his change came and like, you know, them having sex. Yeah, it's exciting for him. But, you know, I mean, it still doesn't change the fact of what she said, you know, and I don't feel like she's really understanding or seeing the things that she's doing wrong. And of course, he doesn't know how to have that conversation with her. Just because, I mean, it's Justin's. He's he's enamored by the fact that they had sex. I guess you know. I don't really know. Um, 
I kind of wish they wouldn't have had sex, to be honest. Right. Yeah, it complicates things. Yeah. Um, yeah, after she was like, it's not good, and he was like, it's amazing. I was like, yeah, that's a conflict that they uh they just gonna have to figure out, you know. I don't think they're gonna go past decision day though, so you know, there's that. <laughs> I mean, so I'm gonna ask you guys this. What did you guys think before we get into it? What did you think about her constantly? If you if you listen to the what she was saying throughout the episode, she constantly tried to reaffirm, like, hey, oh, you got that booty go, right? Uh, like, oh, it was good, right? Like, I, I threw it on you, right? She kept trying to, she kept trying to pump it up and make it seem like it was that she really, it was the best that he ever had. And so, to me, who are you? I'm looking at it like, who are you trying to convince? You trying to convince him <laughs> or yourself? Or yourself? Uh-huh. Who, uh huh. So, who, who, uh, who she's trying to convince here? Because if you notice, she got kept talking about it, you know, and, and talking about it and throwing shots at the same time. Who you trying to convince here? Was it was was it what you thought it would be? Were you giving it too much? You know. So I'm like, what you guys think? That's what that sympathy thing was. Yeah. That's why I say it was sympathy because it's just like, yeah, when some, when a person like, I don't talk about my sex life. I I have two kids, so obviously I'm doing something, you know. So I don't ask if it's good, and you know, it's a conversation that we have. But it's like, yeah, she. Like, yeah, I put it on you, didn't it? Right. Like, okay, it is what it is on that. But she's just trying to get that confirmation because she did it out of, okay, let's just go ahead and do it. You know, I don't think she did it out of, oh, I really wanted it. Because who, like, the whole domination thing, right? I want to be dominated. You have to explain more than just I want to be dominated. Do you want him to initiate it? How do you, you know, he even asked you to initiate it. It's like, like he asked for instructions on how to initiate or dominate you. So it's, it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a, she's looking for that confirmation because she don't want to, she know it was trash to her. She knows it was good to him, but she wants the confirmation because it's like, I just did it because, you know, it was a Tuesday and there's nothing else for us to do you know, type of deal. So listen, that's my thought. Listen, I had to. It's hurt. It's hurting my spirit. It's hurting my spirit. Listen. So I will just keep it a band. I was being really, really nice. She does require affirming. It seems like, but let's be honest. If you've ever had bad sex, it just ain't one person has had the bad sex. That's how come she kept saying, do you, did you, uh the glow whatever because it was bad to him too evidently he did not enjoy himself maybe that's why it lasted all night maybe he didn't do maybe he did the first time because he was excited and then maybe it lasted all night because he didn't enjoy himself like i i don't know if i like her or not i'm sorry it just really bothers me um so that's how i feel i feel like he she come out it wasn't good then it, probably wasn't good to him either and that's why he wasn't as excited and hyping you up the way he thought or the way she thought that he should there we go also tommy you made a very good point because sex is 80 percent for me yes you did sex to me is 80 percent mental and 20 percent act action right um and when she said that i don't think i'm ready to be married to justin he kind of checked out. You are absolutely right. So maybe it wasn't good because he isn't connected like he was when y'all were on the honeymoon. If y'all had, had it on the honeymoon, y'all both be over the moon excited about one one another, like Lindy and Miguel, semi sort of maybe. But uh, I'm just saying that if you thought it was bad nine times out of ten, he didn't think it was his the best um, either. It wasn't his best experience either. You, it, it's on you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's speaking from the man's perspective part of the sex uh if he ended it it was it's decent to me like i like bad sex to me is it stinks or you know i don't finish but if he if i finish i'm good to go i, I <laughs> so listen listen so you ain't telling me you telling me you ain't never just closed your eyes and just finished because you started something and you just I'm going to just finish. Let me just, because I need it for myself. Like, you ain't never. 
in your in, in your pre Artika days, okay? Because Artika is throwing, throwing it down. You got them two kids, okay? Listen, but um, pre Artika, you ain't never been like you too, Glenn. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. Hide your kids. Hide your kids. My mouth is open. Uh, <laughs> you ain't never in y'all single life because when I talk to my boys, sometimes not my sons, but like my homeboys, they be like, yeah. Sometimes you just you just power through it. Like you just power through. Like I so I'm just. I'm not a man, okay? And I'm not, I, as a woman, I'm if I'm not enjoying myself, it would have been, okay, that's good. Okay, bye. Her voice is gone, so she can't really talk. She sound like Glorilla. Um, <laughs> uh, did I cut you off, Talisa? I'm sorry. Nah, she was asking uh -oh. Question, but I'm gonna let you go first. Okay, no, that is no. Like I've never just like pop because if if that was the case, I would stop. I would stop. I've stopped before, but it was only because of something happened. But it's like, no, nah, I'd, I'd never had to to fake it. Like it was if I was like, because the thing is, it's like first off, you have to mentally get over the fact that you're in it. You know, that's that's one part. It's like, oh, this is really happening, you know, because it's like, you know, the chase. And then, like, once you're in, you like, you're trying to finish. So I think that's what it was, you know. Now, I wasn't in their room and there, you know, so it's it's like I can't say if it was good to him or good, you know, bad for him and bad for her. But if he finished, all I got to say is if he finished, he had a pretty good night. See, I, I'm gonna go different. I think it's what she did to him that made it a good night for him. The things that was because he again he might have finished quickly, might not, but it was what was done and what was how, what made him finish. And why he said it was good and what he tried to do. I'm, I'm gonna steal some line from Big Job. He wanted to redeem his stroke. That's why I went all that night, right? It, it, the, the first stroke wasn't good, so he like, yo, can I go ahead and redeem my stroke? And she was like, all right, because she knew it was trash. All right, I give you a second opportunity because Talisa, you said it. She was trying to find something in this relationship to hang on to. So so she was like, OK, first stroke wasn't good. You know, it'd been a year and a half. She chalked that up to an excuse, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's go ahead and try again. And, you know, and the ambiance of the because the way it made it seem, y'all tell me I'm wrong if I'm in the wrong in the chat. It made it seem like they did it at the retreat or at the at, on the um, at the retreat house. That would have seemed like. I, I mean, I think they might have did it there beforehand or the night before, whatever case may be for the prom. And it made it seem like he was trying to, you know, make up for it. Um, I kind of got the feeling it was prom sex. I did. Yeah, I kind of yeah. got the feeling that maybe it was prom sex. But yeah. I see Jackie shaking her head. No. Yeah. No, I didn't think so. I thought it was. I thought it like they had it there because I, I'm how to say it had to be good. Like enough. before they got dressed. Yeah, before they got dressed. Oh, okay. And, okay. And okay. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, okay. And you know, but it had to be good for him because he ran, he ran into Stasha. I'm not telling anybody if my sex is trash. If I don't have a good time, I'm not gonna go tell Stasha. Oh, we had sex. Cause they're gonna ask questions. This is a sex queen. She can like, oh, what y'all, you know, this, that, and the other. She, I'm not. If, if I, if I know it's bad, I'm not asking Stasha. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. So it had to be. So I'm thinking it had to be good for him because he told somebody else, and he was like, hey, you know what? It might. He let's be honest. He ain't had done in a year and a half. It's like you ain't eat. If you ain't eating no good food in a year and a half, and you finally get a plate, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. He ain't eating yet half. So whatever he got into, it was gonna be good for him. It may not have been good for like her. Tommy said, yeah. Yeah, it, it may not be good for her. She knew it was trash. She knew she didn't give her best effort. No, I think forth. she tried to say she was giving her best effort. Like, like, let's put that that year and a half of celibacy into a bro, I whipped it on you. So you you had to finish early. <laughs> I think she was trying to pump herself up. Like, I whipped it on him. Yes, I did. And when he wasn't like, you sure did, she was like, hold on now. But that's what she was looking for. That's what she was looking for. She was looking for the confirmation. I know, that's what I'm saying. She was looking for the affirmation for him. Like, girl, ooh, that was the best. And when he didn't give her that, it's go back to Talisa and Tommy's point. Oh, uh, he checked out. He was just happy to get some. Because most guys, he whipped up. He like he, he should have asked all weekend. Like, yo, what's up, guys? I get some more? You got some more? I mean, he, might, do, have, he, might, he might have done that, but he wasn't. He didn't give her no uh, uh, five-star review. 
Oh, two thumbs up. Exactly, Jackie. And then I don't think he's as excited about her anymore. Like he doesn't seem as excited about her like he was no. even two episodes ago. He's over her after that whole I don't want to be married to Justin. <laughs> I'm not ready. The words were I'm not ready to be married. <laughs> Yo, she, Cause she keep who wanna be with somebody to keep jabbing you? She she mad this man because he couldn't put on his shoes. Ask her, ask her, did he ever unhook a bra before? Like you had trouble the night before. We wouldn't have known that. If you if you really wanted to give him some, why you ain't take the bra off and just come out to him just butt butterball? If he was, it, it, it goes back to Talisa. If he was struggling and just taking a bra off, why do you give him instructions and directions of how to do it and help him out? Or like Tommy said, if it, if you want to be dominant, what does that mean? Make because you already said he's never been in a he uh, never been in a relationship that had to be the dominant person. So what does that mean? Give me some instruction because everybody don't have sex the same way. Everybody don't like the same thing. Everybody wants something different. So because you made the last chick woo ooh and ah climb the walls, smack it up, flip it, rub it down. This next person don't want to. Uh -huh. And the way Justin said it was like we made love. He he used the love word. He said we didn't just have sex. We made love. And so. He thinks he's making love. So, I mean, you took some time. And to me, when I hear somebody say they made love, they took their time. And they made sure the person they was with felt everything was pleasured and was pleased and all that. But she said it was trash. So, again, somebody was somebody lying. Did you make love or was it wham, bam, thank you, ma'am? <laughs> you know, which one was it? I think oh, yeah. um, we really have to look in the fact that Justin had not had any for a year and a half. like any piece of anything is good enough for him and it's not it's not gonna last long no you know we all know the feeling <laughs> that thing start feeling good it start warming up and you know i'm done you know <laughs> it happens to the best of us trust me i know it's not but it's, it's it's like you know that's what it was it was like yeah it's that year and a half he knocked the dust off of it you know <laughs> like I said, my man just wanted to redeem his stroke. He not the first, he got the first he got the first one out the way, and he was like, "Yo, give me about five six minutes, recoup. I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me go." And, me and go the on. fact that and the fact that he was like five six minutes, the fact that he was like, "I went all night." First off, that's a problem. You he know, you. good Which twenty thirty problem. minutes, you're probably good to go. You know, an hour you you like that's a that's strong, you know. You ain't go all night. But look, look at it like just like what Glenn said. Okay, maybe his I went all night was not the actual penetration. It was the I I massaged her, I gave her a foot rub, I spent some time on this body part. I did that. I did maybe that was his last all night. Like it was a whole production. But that's good sex. He, that's what I'm saying. That's good sex. Like you, you foot rub and back rub, and we uh -huh. taking our time. We're doing this. We're doing that. That's memorable sex, right? And well, I he knew, and that's 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 why he had the, and that's why he had the review that he had, and she did, <laughs> right? Because she was stuck on the. But after all that, he was done in sixty seconds flat. <laughs> but but that, but that goes with the conversation of what you like. Right. right, it goes with a conversation. Do you want the rough? Like we talked about last week, do you want the rough guy to pull your hair, throw you on the counter? You know, just go and bam, 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 bam. Or do you want the guy who's sensual? Because he's sensitive, y'all. So he's gonna be, he's gonna meet her, try to meet her needs because it's the first time. And you're but, right, him being sensitive and him being all Google eye for her, he probably was sensual, and she don't really like him, and so she wanted the bam, 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 as you would say. But I mean, all of it is valid, okay? When is what? What are we? When? Are, what are we talking about? When are we talking about? Because all of it is, is valid. Yeah. Right? But you got. But like y'all said, she has to uh, articulate that. She has yeah. to be able to say, "This is what I like." But that first time, she didn't want. She didn't want the sensual love making that he was providing her. He probably even cried. I wonder if he cried. Did he shed a tear, y'all? He shed a tear. He probably did. Not. I, I hope not. He did. Together. <laughs> yeah. I I just hope. I just hope that that he got his and she got hers. She never said yeah. he was selfless. 
She never said he was just, she said it was just quick. So I just want to make sure because the way she would, and but this is the key though, and I want y'all to chime in on this. She said, I've been in relationships where sex has been bad before. And in other words, she's used to being in relationships or staying in relationships when sex wasn't the greatest. So Tommy, you mentioned it a couple of minutes ago. All right, they don't communicate well. Um, they they have she's not attracted to them. The sex is not good. What's she staying for? She's not gonna stay. She's just waiting on decision day. Yeah. Um something that I just thought about, man. If she did like I didn't know or I didn't pay attention to the fact that she said that she's been in relationships where the sex wasn't good. Maybe she don't know what good sex is. Like she maybe she doesn't understand what she likes or what she wants because that question probably has never been asked. And that's a, like, honestly, man, that's a, that's a good question. You know, when you're really trying to learn your spouse and your partner, you have to like, Hey, what do you like? What do you don't like? You know, most of the time, nobody has thought about that. It's one motion for us, you know? <laughs> and so it's like, it's, it's more so if you're thinking of your, of your female, of your wife, I'm trying to think of how to say it, but right. if you're thinking of your fem of your wife, <laughs> you have to understand what she you have to ask that question. You have to say, hey, what do you like? You, you know, as, you as know as and most of the time she can say what I don't like. You I know, think as a guy, you have to. I mean, even since high school, oh, I'm tough, bump it, I'm grown, I'm 40. So even since high school, I've always asked, what do you like? I think that's a, 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 that's what you have to that's what you have to do. Because I first, you don't want your name to be bad throughout the school. <laughs> you don't want your name to be bad throughout the play. I, I'm just telling you how guys think. You don't want your name to be that dude where you trash. So you you going to make sure that you take care, you handle business, so your name ain't trash. That's what I mean. That's the way. That's the way it is, though. But you have to ask. Man, you better preach over there. <laughs> you, have, you, you have. You have to ask. You got to make sure. Well, look, I don't want to get too deep, but. Like you said, I think Tommy. I don't think that's the right term. No, <laughs> excuse the pun. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> but I think what Tommy, Tommy touched on, and you kind of alluding to it too, is um, not just Alexis, but just think about people. Period. When you look at you know, people's sexual experience and, you know, having a sex as a teenager, ain't nobody telling you what to do. You, you finding out by watching, you know, watching videos, your little friends, is, you watching movies and, you know, you got this grandiose idea of how it's supposed to go. It's supposed to do, you're supposed to do this. And, and you're not really the complete sexual experience. Like you're not doing that because you're a kid. And sometimes people take that teenage mentality into adulthood. And so maybe, maybe she really, she, maybe she don't know because she, she, that all we do is, you know, I'm used to somebody making my head smack the headboard and that's all it is to her. And he didn't do that. You know what I mean? So maybe. Can't they need to have to go talk. She needs to go talk to Sasha instead of being so stuck up and uppity in the kitchen. She should have had a real conversation. Yeah, I guarantee you, Sasha could have been like, So, this, that, and the other, but she's very, she's very know it all. She's very know it all. Maybe that's what I wanted to say a little earlier. She's very know it all. She was not receptive to the things that people were saying. Mm -hmm. And I realized, I, 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 I um, understand that sometimes you have to. Talk to somebody that can educate you. If she's not one of those people that will do that, I don't even think she's going to pick up a book and read and mm -hmm. know that, you know, because there are lots of books out here that will tell you what you need to know and how to ask if you're unsure. And this is, you know, what to look for. Are you, it's a whole lot of stuff, you know, I know because I'm a coach. I'll be talking to women about this stuff and be helping them out. But my whole thing is she's not willing to receive the help. So she's probably going to always, Want somebody to um, make the headboard and make her head hit the headboard? Is that what you said? Is that what you just called it? Yeah, that's what she gonna want. Sometimes that's fun, but not all the time. Like, calm Hello, down. calm down. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Hey>, I just. <laughs> uh, no, something that that I thought of uh, just popped up in my head was. She she said no to vibrators, right? 
Yeah. Yes. And that tells you that she's sexually immature. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're you're not even open to a vibrator where every girl at that table was like, "What? What do you mean?" She, she <laughs> you know, three. like, huh? Kristen said she had three. I thought she, yeah, she had more than one. So it, it's it's like her being so closed off to vibrators is is like even a it, it's a telltale sign of where she is sexually because she not understanding the value of the orgasm. Mm. And see, we're going somewhere else with that, man. So. Mm -hmm.